I got into croquet at school when I was about 16 or 17. A few of my friends were playing and we just went down to the local club and started from there. What I like most about croquet is it's a tactical game. There's a lot of strategy and decision making involved. And it's quite nice to come off at the end of a game having actually outthought your opponent rather than just beating them by the shots you've played as well. Well, my croquet ambition is to beat my mum. Level <laughs> one day. And my croquet ambition, ambition is to make sure she never does. <laughs> Croquet can be very competitive. Yes, but it can also be social as well. It depends what level you want to play at. There's something for everybody and the level that you want to get out of the game. What surprised me most about croquet was how quickly I picked it up. Uh, and how quickly I got competitive at the game. In croquet you can play as an individual, or you can play for a team, so for your local club team, or you can play doubles, which is my favourite. One of the things I love about croquet is appeal both from, from teenagers right through to our play, players in their 80s. I think generally it does appeal to people that like to think and strategize a little bit, but it's, it's a game that's accessible to everyone. Yeah, from a professional perspective, I've uh, been involved as a sports psychologist in a number of sports, and in my opinion, croquet provides the greatest mental challenge out of any of those sports. The social side of croquet is one of the reasons that I, that I play. People are very, very friendly and approachable and we obviously have lots of barbecues and a, and a few beers and particularly the county side of the croquet is very, very sociable and very enjoyable to interact with some really good players. Anyone wishing to give croquet a go will be made more than welcome at their local club who will teach you to play and then offer you all the help you need to improve your game.